Hello and welcome to this quick video for this gentleman here called Niraj, Niraj Patel. Now Niraj is asking about how can you do it so that when the throttle is raised and lowered it starts and stops the timer. Now this is SPTX that I have here. In the old days we had a way of doing that in OpenTX. It appears it's subtly changed the way it works in here. However, you can configure it to work in that way. So Niraj, hopefully this answers it for you. Now the way it works, if we go into the model menu and scroll down and look at the timer, you can set up a number of different options for how it works. Off, on, start, throttle percentage, or throttle start, or THS as it used to be called in the old OpenTX days. So that's how we've set it up. And we've also set it for a switch. However, let me just get rid of the switch because for the demo to kind of explain it, probably easy to do it that way. So if we come back out of here, come back in, you can see here that the timer is running. So let me just reset the whole flight by default. And this is, I think, what is annoying near us a little bit. As soon as you raise the throttle, we're off and running. However, if you lower the throttle, the timer still goes. Now, if you were using something like a glider or something like that, where you just kind of want to keep track of how long you've been running the motor, this is a pretty terrible way of doing it. However, if we go back into the model menu, we can change that so that in the um, in the timer, we can say that we also want it on the switch. So I can say when SF is in that position. So now, only when the switch is in position, you see, with the, with the throttle raised, nothing happens. But while the switch is set as well and the throttle has moved, you can kind of stop and start it automatically with a switch. However, that doesn't really fix it, but we have logical switches. So if I go back into the model menu, zoom across to our friend's logical switches, I have set up this logical switch. And what it actually says here on the screen is I'm testing whether A is greater than X, and I'm testing whether the throttle is greater than minus 95. Remember on these radios that low throttle position is minus 100, full channel position is 100 and zero is the middle. So I'm testing whether it's moved off the bottom. That's all that does. And what I do, you can see it working here as I move the throttle, you can see it go yellow as that logical switch becomes active. Now that means we can use that logical switch like we would a physical switch with the timer. So let's do that. So let's go down into the timer. Let's change that switch to be a logical switch, logical switch one. And now what happens when we come out if I, again, reset the flight, there we go. So we'll reset it, we'll start flying. The timer is now running. We start gliding. <gasps> We've stopped. Start flying again, timer recommences. And then when it goes below 95%, that logical switch turns off and it stops. So hopefully, that answers the question for you. That's the way that I would do it here. Just set up a logical switch to detect when the throttle has moved out of its lowest position, and you can use that to turn the timer on and off. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.